While in Job, he came like a storm. In Isaiah, he came like a rushing river. But in Exodus 3.1, it says that Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from a bush, from, a, from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn.
Testing, testing, testing. Welcome back to the tell the Glory Revival. I was gonna say TGR and then the Glory Revival. I decided to go with the other route and said both at the, uh, by accident. So welcome to the Glory Revival Hub uh, community. We are so excited for another Saturday night. Today is March. April 13, 2024, and we are here on another bright Saturday here at Grand Prairie. The weather here has gotten so much better, and God is doing so much greater things here at the Glory Revival. So we are so excited to get started. Uh, my name is Daisy, and I'm, a, I'm here as a core team leader, and we're just here to bring you some exciting announcements, and we're going to meet some of the people here today, get to know where they're from, and we are just so excited overall to introduce you guys uh, to the service. So do me a favor here, and if you're new, if this is your first time watching, and uh, you've never heard of the Glory Revival, or if you're just tuned in right now, where are you watching from? Are you watching from, are you local? If you're local, we're actually in Grand Prairie, Texas, and so if you're not far from Grand Prairie and you want to come check us out, where well, you are more than welcome to come because tonight is going to be powerful. The Lord says, I'm doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? And every time we come together, we come excited and we come ready to embrace that new thing God wants to do. Last Saturday, we had our baptism service and it was crazy. We had so many people getting saved, people getting baptized, receiving their tongues. It was so cool that ultimately God moved and there was such a powerful move of God here in Grand Prairie. We had people even staying up until the, the like midnight and it was just ultimately amazing. If you missed the baptism 
awesome service. The preaching was amazing. The prayer was so great. People had hungry hearts. There were so many miracles. You just have to watch the play playback because honestly, it was too much. I can't even disclose all the details of it. But I'm here in the live chat right now and I see that there's 30 of you. So all 30, if you're down, let me know where are you watching from? What are you doing right now? Are you at home? Are you at school? Are you at another church? <laughs> you know, go ahead and, and let us know. Blessings from Nebraska, says Denise. God bless you, Denise. Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, let me let me hear from the rest of you. Where are you watching from? What are you doing? What are you up to? We would love to get to know you. Praise God. So let's kick off time together by extending a warm welcome to everybody. Uh, drop a greeting in the chat. Give them a smile if you see someone um, in the chat saying hello. Awesome, awesome. And what is the Glory Revival? We are an apostolic and prophetic movement sent to awaken the world to the, to, to the glory of God. We are equipping, we're training, and we're sending sons of God across the world. We're here to host God's presence in this atmosphere, and here we encounter God because we allow God to come in. The King who is in the room to enter, and when He enters in, I mean, there's no telling what He's going to do, <laughs> but really when He comes in, He fills the room. He desires to encounter His people, His children. He wants wants the world to see his reality. You know, the Bible tells us that in, in the book of Romans, right, the earth is groaning for the sons of God to be revealed, right? The real sons of God, the word, the, the world, the creation, because the end times are here, right? We're in the last days. And so the creation is groaning for the times for the sons of God to be revealed. And so here at the Glory Revival, we are, we are that movement. We are that movement where we believe in the awakening of the sons of God, awakening the world that is groaning to the glory of God by being carried carriers of his glory everywhere we go and by witnessing firsthand here the true glory of God that we don't have to witness just here but we can take it all over the world so if you're someone and you're for that mission you're for that vision you're like man I want to take the real God's the, the, the real glory of God to the world I want to show the world who God really is I want to show them that sin is just terrible and and it's filthy and there's nothing fun about sin and living in the world and there's a new life that they can live in Christ where they're free and they can they can live out this walk if you're, if you're one of those people, you want to be a carrier of God's glory, then I recommend you. I suggest you stick around, stick around for the announcement, stick around for the service, and stick around to be blessed, and stick around to see what God is actually going to do in your life by just being here and in the life of those around you. So I want to say, God bless you. Thank you for watching. Let me see if anybody else put anything in the chat real quick. Awesome. Holy Spirit moved last Saturday, said Michelle. Absolutely. Bless you, Minnesota. India. Wow. Really cool. Tyler, Texas. Not far away. Carmela. Um, glory, hallelujah. Praise God. Bless you, Carmela. I see our, uh, one of our moderator here. Um, Africa. Wow. We got Africa in the chat today. We got Garland in the chat. Awesome. That is so cool. We got everywhere. Okay. Awesome. So without further ado, I think I have one person standing over here. You can go ahead and come on up. We want to introduce someone here. Um, I think this is a first timer. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Carmela. Don't, don't be shy. You look great. I love it. Where, where, do, where do you shop? This was a dollar, believe it or not. No, I don't believe it. It looks great. <laughs> awesome. So can you tell us your name? My name is Soraya. Soraya, where are you coming from? Plano, Texas. This is, so this is your first time. How did you hear about the Glory Revival? My friend, Miss Shawan, and my other friend, Lawrence, introduced me to Glory Revival. Okay. Have you ever watched us on YouTube before? Any idea what we're doing tonight? Never. I've heard about it, but I'm excited. So. Okay. Oh, awesome. Okay. Well, we're glad you're excited because I was like, they just brought you in for a whole surprise tonight. <laughs> just kidding. It's awesome. We love seeing you people. We're so excited that you're here. Um, now, did you're, are you local around here? Do I live around here? Yeah. I live in Plano. It's like an hour away. Yeah. And ha have you been like walking with the Lord? Like, what is your walk with the Lord? Like, how long have you been saved, walking with God? Um, I grew up Christian. I didn't start reading my Bible until I was like 17. I didn't start going to church until like last year. Okay. And I'm 21 now. Okay. You've been reading your Bible since you're 17. You were 17. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So because you've said that, you just set yourself up for some trivia for that. Okay. We're going to do some Bible trivia for you. Don't worry. These are easy questions. <laughs> She said, I hope so. So don't worry. Um, it's just, it's a fun game that I like to do with everyone that's, you know, that, that comes on if I can. And um, since you said you've since 17, I don't expect you to fail. So if you fail, we might have a talk. Okay. So just, just somebody say we might have a talk. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, Bible trivia, right? Remind me your name one more time. Sariah. Okay, Sariah. I think you're going to do great. So these are going to be multiple choice. So it's very easy. First question, okay? What is the first book in the Bible? 
It's Genesis. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Woohoo! Praise God. Okay, that was pretty easy, right? Okay, now you know how easy these are going to be. This one's a little bit harder, actually. So, next question. According to the Bible, this is going to be in the New Testament, right? The Bible says, whoever hates his brother is a what? Would you like multiple choice or do you want to try to guess? Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Okay. The Bible says, whoever hates his brother is a murderer, a bad brother, a good Samaritan, or misled. What do you think the Bible says about those who hate their brother? A murderer. And that is correct. Yeah, you were correct. Yep. Come on. You got it. First John 3, 15. All sins are created equal. If you're guilty of one sin and have not the blood of Jesus, you might be guilty of all sins. So yeah, those who hate their brother is like a murderer, right? Because he counts all sin the same. That's awesome. You got it going on. Okay, here's another. This is going back to the Old Testament. What event, this is about Joseph. What event caused Pharaoh in the book of Genesis to summon Joseph from prison? Was it because Pharaoh had two dreams? Was it because the sun went backwards? Was it because of the solar eclipse? Or was there no event? Take your time. Okay. No hints. Her friends are asking if she, they can get a hint. No, no hints. No, at all. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Was it the the dreams, correct. <laughs> Way to go. You got all of them right. I don't know what you're, you're nervous about. You're doing so good. Okay. I got one more question for you, okay? Last question. In the Bible, what before God changed it? Abinadab, Abram, Aaron, or Abednego? It was Abram. Come on. You got a great question. They're all cheering her up and everything. I love it. Okay. Well, thank you for participating in Bible Trivia. You did amazing. You came ready for church. You look so great. You, will, you got your word going on. She got, man, she's, she's just all prepped. Okay, come on. Come on. We got to step it up, those watching live. But tell me now, what is something you're actually excited for tonight? I know you said you were excited, but what do you think is going to happen tonight? What are you excited about and why? Can you share that with people watching live? Yes. Um, for the worship a little bit. Uh, introduction before it even got started so I'm sure that getting into church should be amazing I'm excited for the Holy Spirit I'm excited for the unexpected because I don't know what to expect Amen. so I know it'll be beautiful either way Amen. well we are so excited for you thank you for coming up for trivia and tonight's gonna be a great night for you so I want to hear from you after service how it went for you we would love to talk later but thank you for joining and we hope you have a great night tonight oh. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, do we got one more? Okay, real quick. Praise the Lord. That was so cool. Okay, I didn't know we had one more. What's your name? Uh, Trent. Trent, how are you doing? Come on, step up front. Hey, Trent. Pretty well. Is this your first time? Sure is. Hey, okay. what? so what brings you here today? A uh, friend of mine. Have you ever heard of the Glory Revival before this? Uh, so you have no idea what's going to happen tonight? I don't think so. No. Okay, good. Well, that's fine. That's okay. Sometimes people just come and they're just curious, right? And that's okay. Taking the step to come to church. I won't quiz you on Bible trivia, don't worry. But I do have some questions for you. Is that okay? Okay, so I have a question about, which is kind of like a, you know, opinion question. Um, I just got a bunch of funny questions just, you know, just to ask people as they're on here. But let me know, if Jesus lived in today's time, where, what kind of house do you think he would have? Do you think he would have like a condo, an apartment, a mansion? What do you think? That. Um, uh, birds of the air have nests, foxes have holes, the son of man has lay his head. <laughs> Fair enough. So, <laughs> do you mean he wouldn't have a home? Not. Okay, I love that. I didn't even think about that. Okay. We take it to the Bible. He has no place to raise, so he would just, he would have tents then, would you say? Maybe. Okay, well, that's really cool. That's insightful. I was actually thinking, I was hoping for a funny question, but now you just took me back to a scripture, and I was like, okay, well, praise God. I love it. Okay, here's an actual question for you. What are you looking forward to tonight? Because if you know that word, then I'm sure you know your word. What are you excited for? What do you feel like tonight will look like? What is something you might be nervous about? What do you want to encourage people that don't, you know, watching live might want to come? I'm not really sure. What would you tell them, a first-timer? Okay. I hope it's just a time of worship that's, pleasing to the Lord, and um, if they're not, if they're not here and they're watching, I just encourage them to read their word. 
Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And we're excited that you're here. We want to hear later on how it was for you and how it went, but we hope you go in there. We hope the Lord just does in you whatever he wants to do. Just be open, be expectant, and you seem like you are. So just have a great time. Thank you for coming up and just sharing a little bit about the word for us and just what you're excited for. We hope you have a good time. So much. Thanks. Amen. Okay. Love it, love it, love it. Man. Okay. Announcements for everybody. To, we're so excited for tonight. Um, man, sorry, I was just like watching myself. The, the, the live is a little bit like back, um, rewinded. But that is so cool. Like I love those questions. I love the trivia. I love just the excitement. And I love people that are just here. They've never heard of it, but they know that God, you know, they're, they're just willing to come and they're open and they're in expectation. So that's what we encourage everybody. If you've never heard, or if you've never even gone to church or if church is something that's a little bit icky with you, like maybe you're someone at home, you're watching this and you're like, oh, I've tried church before and it wasn't a great experience. Well, you haven't tried the glory revival and you also haven't tried, maybe you, maybe that was, that wasn't a great experience, but you never know. Like if you step out again, you never know what the Lord is going to do, but just being obedient and saying, you know, I'm going to come back to a place of fellowship, you know? And I think that's just so awesome when you just have the heart, you're like, I'm going to come back to that place of fellowship. I'm going to come back and I'm going to try it one more time and I'm going to give it a shot. And you can just watch it live too. It doesn't mean you have to be here physically, but just by being on the live, I'm going to stay through. I'm going to watch this through and I'm going to be, I'm going to receive every blessing just by faith. You'll just be so amazed what God does. Last Saturday was just so powerful and I have no doubts that today is going to be even more powerful. So without further ado, let me give you a couple announcements and we're going to transition real quick into the service. We have a serve team opportunity for you. If you feel called to serve at the Glory Revival, we have a special opportunity for you. You can go to thegloryrevival.com slash serve for information about our orientation. And now for our incredible serve team, stay tuned because there's future announcements for you too. If you, and, and as you keep serving, there's going to be more things and more opportunities for you. Like we have like evangelism, prayer, and things like that. So just stay tuned. We're so blessed to have you on our team and just continue to faithfully serve because you are, as well are getting served. And so another, another announcement, men's meeting is coming coming up, calling all men in our community. The men's meeting is scheduled every third Sunday of the month. So mark your calendars. That's going to be coming up this month really soon. And you can go to thegloryofallow.com slash men for more details. And your generosity fuels our missions. Your general support continues to fuel the mission of the Glory Revival. And it's your contribution that enables us to continue growing and serving our community. And so if you feel called to give and, uh, and part of this mission, if you feel drawn to this mission, you can go to thegloryofallow.com slash give and so into our, our um, give whatever it is the Lord put in your heart it will be a blessing for you and for us in Jesus name and so monthly baptism as well if you're interested in our monthly baptism you can go to the glory slash baptism get all the information we do it the first Saturday of every month so last Saturday was our first was our baptism for the month of April so the next one is going to be in May and it's going to be just amazing we're so excited for that and if you're someone you were looking to get baptized you can get all that information in that on that website as well and last but not least this is our year of friendship with the Holy Spirit I haven't announced this uh, recently but I want to announce it here that this is still the year we're still exploring our friendship with the Holy Spirit and I'm I kid you not I myself have personally received so much breakthrough in that area and I know that you are also going to receive so much breakthrough as you as you continue to join us and embark in this journey of what does the friendship of the Holy Spirit look like for you and so we're so excited to bring to you the glory revival today we can't wait for all that God is going to do as we venture into this theme of friendship with the Holy Spirit and I'm going to say a quick prayer before we get off here. Lord, I just bless everybody that is watching. And I thank you, Lord, for each individual person. We pray for all the new people, all the people that have come before. We pray that there would be a double portion that each will receive. And that tonight will be a night where you do, the King does what he wants to do in this room. He shows up in this room and every person, no matter how young, no matter how old, no matter how advanced, no matter how much of a beginner they may be, may every person encounter the power of God, the Spirit of God today. And may all the prayers be answered today in Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. All right. God bless you guys. We're going to transition into the service. We're so excited. Let's give it up for the Lord. Fire, 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 fire. Every snake give the sea. The fire is burning you now. Spirits of lust, spirits of impurity, spirits of the water. You're burning now. You're burning now. You're burning now. I said go. One, two, three. Out, 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 out.
By fire! By fire! All of them go. You're free. You're free, daughter. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Does she love Jesus? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, huh? That means you lose. How many are in her? How many? How many? How many? One, two, three, say out! 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 Your time is up. You won't rob him. You won't ruin his future. You won't ruin his relationships. You leave him now. This man's about to receive a total miracle. You love Jesus? Hey! Loose him. Loose him. Loose. Legs. Life to his body. Life to his legs. Life to his body. Life to his legs. Look at me, Joe. You believe? Rise up and walk. Would you like to walk and run? <laughs> Even the kids, the Spirit of God is falling on the children. Son, stay in that vision. Look at the Lord. I saw myself in the room in heaven and it was just kind of like this and Jesus was talking to us and he said, you can't see with dry eyes. And I asked him, how do you get rid of dry eyes? And suddenly the room got filled with like rushing waters. He said, these are tears of intercession that will make your eyes not go dry. And instantly I ended up in the field that I've seen us all before. It was a field of flowers. The first time I saw us running towards him, but this time I saw us gathered together walking in this field of flowers. And then there was this stairway in front of us that appeared. And one by one, I could see us dressed in beautiful robes. Welcome to heaven! <laughs> Best decision you will ever make in your life, man. You want to give your life to Jesus? Didn't I prophesy you would come home? Wow, this is the sister. Wow. You were supposed to die and God saved you. You hear me? This is your time, bro. You're done with the world, man. How are you guys doing tonight? Amen, amen. I'm so excited to see you guys. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in months, but I know it's only been a week. <laughs> amen. What I want to start off by doing, guys, tonight, I want us to just get closer. I want you guys super close to me because we're family and it feels lonely up here. Amen. <laughs> let's get real close tonight. And as you're walking up here, let's just begin to just intercede. Let's just begin to press in for the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Tonight, um, I want to share something that the Lord told me last night as I was praying. And right after that, I have a few more amazing women of God who are, who are going to just come up here and they're going to share what the Lord gave them as well. Amen. And by doing this, we're just going to just feed into this atmosphere. Let everything that the Lord is giving you raise your expectation for tonight. That every person that's up here just know that the Lord gave them something specifically for tonight. So just build the expectation in the room. Hallelujah. 
I want to read this verse that the Lord gave me. He gave me two. <laughs> he gave me Genesis 1, verse 2. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Mm. <laughs> and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Hallelujah. And with that, he gave me John 1, verse 32. And John bore witness saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and he remained upon him. Thank you, Jesus. So last night, as, as I was praying, the Holy Spirit, <laughs> he walks up to me to my right side and he, he leans in and, 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 and he whispers to me because he's just the most precious human being ever. He's the most precious person ever. And <laughs> I heard the Holy Spirit say, just as I hovered over the waters and as I hovered over Jesus as I was descending upon him, I'm hovering over you in expectation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just feel that tonight, the Holy Spirit, just as He hovered over the waters when creation was being created, and just as He hovered over Jesus when He was descending, you know, I don't believe that the Holy Spirit was like instantly falling down. I believe He hovered, like He was like, you're going to see me entering into the, the Son of Man, amen? <laughs> So I just feel like tonight, he wants to hover over this atmosphere. He wants to hover over the building. He wants to hover over you specifically. <laughs> but he's not just hovering over us, just watching us. He's hovering in expectation. He's like, oh my gosh, what are they gonna receive tonight? Are they praying to me? Are they, are they waiting for me? He's, he's excited and he's expecting things to move tonight. Amen. And if the Holy Spirit is leaning in in expectation, how much more so should we be leaning in in expectation? Amen. So I just want to decree and declare to the atmosphere right now. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that tonight, Oh, you are leaning in and hovering in expectation for the service tonight. You are, you are waiting for us to move, my God. You are waiting for us to pray. And I say, Holy Spirit, hover over this room. Hover over this atmosphere, my God. Be, be, be. Then not one person will be left untouched by the Holy Spirit. Not one person will be left dry because the Holy Spirit is hovering over you in this moment, whether you feel it or not, whether you know the Lord or not, I stand in the gap for you. And whether you want to or not, you are going to receive the Holy Spirit tonight. And even if you don't know how to pray, Holy Spirit, I'm praying that you hover over every soul in this building, my God. Every soul in this metroplex. Every soul in Dallas, every soul in the state of Texas. Holy Spirit, hover. Hover and have your way. Just lift up your prayers tonight. And as you're waiting for God to answer you, Hey, as you're waiting for him to answer you, hey, the Holy Spirit is leaning in with a whisper. He's saying, I'm expecting you to move. I'm expecting you to yield tonight. I'm expecting you to want me more than you want a miracle, a sign, and a wonder. I'm expecting you to want me for me. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that tonight, oh, yabah, de, 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 de. expect us, expect us, my God, just as, as we are expecting you to move, Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, my God.
A verse that I got this morning when I was in prayer that the Lord wanted me to remind you all of, it says, but now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name and you are mine. So the Lord declares and says that you are mine. I created you to be perfect in his image. So don't you doubt who you are and the path that I already have for you, declares the Lord. So as you stand here ready to receive for what the Lord has for you, just remember his words, remember his promises, remember the things that he already has shown you in your family and in your lives. As you go through your days, just let go of what was burdening you when you walked in today. From the week, from all the things that you have gone through, just let them go. Give them to the Lord, for you are perfect in His image. He has created you to be more than you have ever even imagined to become and to be. So just bask in His presence. Just soak in Him in everything that you do. Remember that you are redeemed in every single thing that you do and who you are. Just soak in Him. Let the Lord do everything that He needs to do in you tonight. Believe for your family, believe for your children. Remember us who you are and whose you are, says the Lord. You are conquerors. You are victorious because you already won the war. The battle has been won for your family, for your children for your whole bloodline, so declare that before the Lord. Don't let anything hinder you from that. Because the path that He has for you is great, greater than you have even imagined or even thought of. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, the Lord is looking at our hearts on tonight. Hey, we want to come before the throne of grace with a clean heart on tonight. With clean hands and a pure heart. The Lord is dealing with our hearts on tonight. For the Lord says that heart is deceitfully wicked. Who would know it? So we ask the Lord on tonight to cleanse our heart, to purify us, to give us a new heart. Oh, we go through many trials and tribulations in this world, but the Lord has overcome them all. And we ask Him tonight to mend our hearts, to purify it, to cleanse it, to wash it. Oh, we ask you, Lord, on tonight, oh God, yes, that this heart of ours, oh God, that you would cleanse it, that you would make it anew, oh God. Yeah, yeah, Lord, said a day that you, Lord God, will have your way, oh God, in our hearts on tonight, oh God. For that is, oh God, the seeding ground, oh God. Lord, that is the foundation, oh God. For out of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Oh God, we want a clean heart on tonight. Cleanse us, oh God. Cleanse us, Father. Oh, cleanse us, Lord. Each and every one of your children, cleanse us, Father from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. Let the words come out of our mouth. Be encouragement, be in love, and be in truth. For we praise the name of Jesus on tonight. Let the Lord have his way. Have your way, Holy Spirit, in our hearts, in our minds. Lay down our agendas on tonight and present to the Lord your heart on tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I 
Release your sound, 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 release your sound. Come on, release the sound tonight. Release your sound tonight. Release your sound tonight. Release your sound tonight. Release your sound, release your sound, release your sound. Release your sound, release your sound, release your sound, release your sound, release your sound. Release your sound. Release your sound, release your sound, release your sound. Release your sound, release your sound, release your sound. Release your sound, release your sound, release your sound. Release your sound, release your sound, release your sound. Release the sound, release the sound, release the sound. Release the sound, release the sound. The things of God come with a sound. This is the sound of a people that take over territory, take over territory. Oh, release your sound and take over. Release your sound. 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 Come on, open up your mouth. Sing a new song. We're taking over. With your sound, you come with your sound. You come with your sound, break it, break it in my life, Lord. Release your sound. 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 Come on, take over your problems. Take over your feelings. Take over your emotions. Woo. I tell you, mountain, move, move, move. Where, where are the people that will tell the mountain, move, move? I'm telling you, you shall move. Oh, car 
635 we're gonna press in until about 635 we're gonna enter in to the heavenly courtroom we are a people that understand that many of our battles you don't fight by shouting you don't fight by getting angry but by going directly into the throne room and pleading the blind I bleed the blind I bleed We're gonna enter the throne room right now and we're gonna plead the blood over your situation we're gonna pray for you but you also gotta pray pray that the blood of Jesus plead the blood of Jesus over your circumstance plead the blood of Jesus over everything that's trying to kill you drown you step on you stop you everything that's trying to keep you down oh I plead the blood I plead the blood Jesus Jesus We come by the blood of Jesus You are a son and a daughter. So I want you to imagine the mountain. 
I want you to imagine what you're waiting to move. What you need to crumble, you say, I come by the blood of Jesus. Look it in the face. Look at the enemy and say, I come by the blood of Jesus. I come by the blood of Jesus. Come on. Let's sing it. I come by the blood of Jesus. 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 We 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 come by the blood of Jesus. Blood. Mm, we're made new by the blood. 
wiped clean by the blood. Rabakiana na namasi. Only by the blood. Only by the blood. Only by the blood. Only by the blood. Sing that. Only by the blood would I be here. 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 Only by the blood, only by the blood, only by the blood, by the blood of Jesus, you come by the blood of Jesus, to run by the blood of Jesus, and to run by the blood of Jesus, and to run by the blood of Jesus, and to run by the blood of Jesus. tonight it shall be so and there is no thing no spirit of the east of the west no land see spirit in the name of Jesus shall come against what we just prayed tonight that there would be no pushback against our prayers we commission an entire fleet of heaven's armies Ooh. 
Protect the sound, protect our praise, protect our sound. We decree and declare that there will be no thing, no problem, no person, no offense, no devil, no circumstance. Nothing that would take away your sound. Nothing that would take away your prayer. Sealed by the blood. Sealed by the blood. Sealed by the blood. Sealed by the blood. In Jesus' name. We want you to join us tonight. We're going to worship the Lord. There's a song that we want you to join us tonight. The lyrics will be on screen, hopefully. But it talks about the throne room. And it talks about the sounds of the throne room. Today we want you to join in, lean in your ear to the sounds of the spirit realm. Let the symphonies and the synchrony of the Holy Spirit, of the sounds of heaven, of the worship in heaven, of the sounds of the elders. May you be in tune with that tonight. May you hear it, lean in. Let those that have ears, let them hear. And this song says, there's a sound in the throne room, only heard as you bow. All the hosts and the elders can be seen casting crowns. It says, as they cry, oh. And I want you guys to join in this worship song tonight. Because as we become one, as we sing in unison, ooh. Where there's unity there, the Holy Spirit will come and flood us with His glory. So I want you to worship with us.
give you every inch and every square footage of this place tonight, Lord. We give you everything of us, my God. If you want to use our hands, use it. If you want to use our mouths, use it. If you want to use our feet tonight, use it. But there's no holding back any inch of ourselves tonight, my God. But we let you have it all, Lord. May you complete us. May you perfect us. May you restore us. May you cleanse us. May you Oh, burn us by fire, Lord. Refine us, clean us, purge us, sanctify us. Oh, we pray, my God. Hide your word in our inside of us, Lord. And let it burn like fire. Like Jeremiah, like Jeremiah, like Jeremiah, like Jeremiah. Oh, let your word, Jeremiah, like Jeremiah, burn us by fire. Let us hide it inside of ourselves. Oh, Rekasetereba. Oh, we cry, we cry, we cry, we cry. Oh, the sweet presence of the Lord tonight oh During the eclipse, right as the moon passed in front of the sun and the sun rays were coming out again and the sky went from dark to light again because of the sun's rays coming out again, there was a small portion that of the sun's rays that lit up the clouds in a multicolor, in multicolor, and it created this heart before our eyes before my husband and I and my family before our eyes we saw a heart right as the eclipse happened somebody say we love you too Lord thank you Jesus for your signs in the sky thank you for that heart we saw during the eclipse my God in the clouds manifested in the clouds we hail you Lord we will not let the rocks cry out. I will not let the rocks steal my worship. I cannot let the, the rocks cry out. But I myself, oh, all my, all my spirit, all my soul, all my flesh, I beat you into submission. We hail the Lord. We shall serve the Lord no matter what, no matter the circumstance, no matter the costs. We cry Thank you, 
Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Say thank you, Lord. I'm ready for what you have for me today. Deposit it within me and let me run differently. From today on, God speed. God speed. God speed. Oh, God speed. From today on, I'm different. From today on, I run differently. I think differently. I see differently. I forgive differently. I am different. Hallelujah. Give it up for Jesus. Amen. Feel free to take your seat, sit by faith, not by sight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. If you know that he's about to do something new in this place, somebody say hallelujah. Oh, come on. Somebody give glory to Jesus. It doesn't matter if there's a few or if there's many. I want you to give glory to the one in the room. If you know he's about to do a new thing for you tonight, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody just lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus, for bringing me this far. It doesn't matter what the road looked like. It doesn't matter how bumpy it got. Lord Jesus, you kept me. You kept me. And we will forever sing him praise. Who knows that we're forever going to give glory to God. We're forever going to give him glory for all he's done. Hallelujah for the two people that know that they're forever going to give him glory. Hallelujah to the six. Okay, to everyone else. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Welcome to the Glory Revival and welcome to the Dome of Encounters. Hallelujah. Are we excited tonight? God is about to do something new, and I feel it in my spirit. I don't know about you, but last night, how many of you here were here for last Saturday service? Wasn't it powerful? Come on, it was so good. And God is about to do something again tonight, and we're so excited for that. Last night, oh my gosh, I didn't even top it. There were just, you guys are going to see the recap video. Like, I'm not kidding. Last, I say last night, I mean last Saturday. Last Saturday was crazy, okay? Somebody tell your neighbor, crazy. <laughs> It was crazy. Like, I just, you can't even make up the stuff that happened in the service. You can't make up the stuff that happened outside during baptism. I'm telling you, when people are hungry, they get together, they want to see a real move of God. God will show up. Amen? So are you hungry tonight? Are you hungry and are you ready to see a real move of God? Are you tired of the religious garbage? Okay. Then tonight, we are going to, when I say God is going to do a new thing, I mean he's going to do a new thing. And those who have not seen with their own eyes, tonight you will see what God will do. You will see the move of God and you will no longer deny it. You'll no longer question it. You'll no longer disbelieve. Amen? If you believe that for yourself and for your neighbor, say hallelujah. Let's give it up for the worship team. They did amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Do we have anybody here that it's your first time ever at the Glory Revival? Any first timers here at the Glory Revival? Hallelujah, let's welcome them. Amen. Where are you coming from? Dallas in the house. Amen. Are you first time as well? Where are y'all from? Oklahoma. You drove all the way from Oklahoma. Praise God. Oklahoma in the house. Praise God. We got a first time over here. I see a little girl. Where are you from? Okay, Texas in the, what part of Texas? Houston in the house. Praise God. Welcome, Houston. Welcome, Oklahoma. Welcome, welcome to the Glory Revival. Do we have another one here? Where are you from? Plano. Oh, come on. We can shout louder than that for the first timer. Let's make them feel a little more welcome than that. Amen. Welcome to the Glory Revival. Welcome to the house of the Lord, to the Dome of Encounters. Raise your hand if you're here, you've been at the Glory Revival, and you've had an encounter with God. Amen? Look at all these people around you, first-timers. Everyone here have had, and raise your hand if you have ever gone into a vision before. Raise your hand if you're someone that you've been healed before while you were here in the service. 
Raise your hand if you've been delivered before while you were here in the service. <laughs> Amen. So if you've never been to the Glory Revival, here are people around you that testify of the power of God here, the service. Not because it's um, even as much as the emphasis, as much as it is the Lord himself, right? We want to host this presence here. We love the Lord. And because we just want the Lord, he shows up, right? And the, the Bible tells us the sign follows those who believe, correct? So because we believe, right, and we don't just believe a half God where he loves us and he cares for us, but he doesn't care about our blindness and deafness and, and bad leg, you know what I mean? But we believe in the whole gospel, the full God, the God that is still for today, the God in his word that says to do what? Go into all the and proclaim the good news, right? And as you go, the signs will follow those who believe. So we are a prophetic apostolic movement that have a, 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 desti a, a assignment, really, to show the world the glory of God. Amen? And if you're part of that assignment tonight, I want you to shout glory. Glory. We are here to show the world the glory of God, that God is real, that He's here for today, and He is here for you right now as you're here. And each of you that are here tonight, you're going to be equipped, you're going to be filled, and the Lord is going to give you a key. And we believe that as you step out, you're going to be able to have a key to unlock someone else's destiny. You're going to have a key to, to, have to, to help other people in bondage. The same deliverance and healing that all of you raised your hands for. Did you know that all of you have the same exact power inside of you to be able to do the same for others? Amen. And I think that's a, that's a reason to rejoice, right? So if you're here, you're hungry, you're ready, it's your first time, I want you to get ready. Everyone, someone says, get ready. Get ready for what the Lord is going to do for you tonight and come with expectation. Amen. Hallelujah. Do we have any testimonies tonight? Anybody have something that the Lord has done for them in the past week that they want to share? Amen. Come on up, Charles. Charles is always raising his hand. Let's give it up for Charles. <laughs> Amen. Look, I'm telling, look, there's a revelation there real quick. Hold on one second. So the fact that you always come up, <laughs> so let's give it up for Charles. I'm telling you, when you testify, what do you do? You prophesy, and he comes up every single Saturday. That means that something's always happening where he believes stepping into his own testimony, and now he's receiving more. Amen? What's going on? So, um, I was in prayer earlier this morning, and um, what happened? Okay, yeah, so I was in a vision. The Lord took me to a vision, and I seen 5 o'clock, and then I seen Market, and I thought he was talking about Walmart, but I pulled up earlier today. And um, y'all know that market that's up there, that little um, Latino market, Mexican market, it's like a market right there. So I went up there, I was up here at first, but then I went up there, and um, I don't know how to speak Spanish. So the Lord, he just led me to a certain aisle, and I seen this Mexican lady, um, no offense, I don't know what to say, but yeah, I seen this Mexican lady, and uh, I couldn't speak Spanish, but I said, um, Jesus, te ama, and um, she received it, and um, I just used my translator to um, like say, Jesus loves you, you know, all this stuff, you know, breakthrough. I was just saying whatever the Lord put on my heart. I can't remember because it was Holy Spirit led. But yeah, she ended up crying, gave her a hug, and she gave me like a free sample. And um, yeah, basically she tapped in the translator. She said, thank you, I really needed that. And that was it, so amen. Come on, Jesus. Somebody say testify. I love it. Hey, he said, I got no excuse. I may not know the language, but I got Google, <laughs> amen. And I'm gonna look it up and you still gonna be blessed, amen. How many of you have ever used a translator to talk to someone that didn't know about Jesus? I've used it. It works. Learning the language also works too. But I mean, if you're, <laughs> if you don't really know it right away, it's okay. There's Google now. Amen. Do we have any other testimonies? Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. Oh, I saw a hand up. All right. Let's give it up for Jesus. Let's give it up as this woman of God comes up. We're going to take one more testimony. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for your bravery. What's your name? Janelle. Say hi, Janelle. Here, come this way a little bit. What has the Lord done for you? Okay, so um, about a year ago, I hit rock, bo rock bottom. And just the Lord just has transformed my life. And I don't remember exactly the date. I just know that um, it's this month. It, I, Yeah, just this month. And um, I've been completely sober. So for the... Hallelujah. Like, everything. So... Come on, give glory to Jesus. She kind of, she just prophesying. Amen. We decree that every addiction tonight will be broken in Jesus' name. Every stronghold of addiction in your life will be broken tonight as a result of that testimony in Jesus' name. Let's give it up for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When you testify, you prophesy. Amen. I believe the Lord 
is going to break the spirit of addiction tonight. We believe that spirit of addiction is going to leave people tonight. You're going to walk out free in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and transition into the time of testimony. If it's your first, oh, sorry, not testimony, offering. If it's your first time here, um, before the man of God comes up, we have a recap video. We take offering and we also pray into the service. Because one thing that we really believe here is in the power of prayer, right? When two come into agreement, he is there, right? And we believe in, a pray, in the power of prayer. And, and really, prayer was a, as, because of prayer it's why even some of you are here today we prayed you in because we want the lord to really bring people that really need to hear the word of god people that really need breakthrough that maybe they've searched they've gone through doctors maybe they've gone through physicians they've gone through friends they've gone through counselors and yet they still might feel empty they feel like there's not really a lot of answers for them they feel like i've tried everything and nothing is working and so we got an intercessory group just behind the scenes, you know, that's that start on Fridays. They pray 12 hours round the clock from 6 a.m., 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. today, this morning. It ends at 6 a.m. And they begin to intercede and they begin to pray over the city and over the region. And they really believe and they say, Lord, locate those people. Locate those people that need their healing. Locate those people that need their breakthrough. Locate them. Bring them in the name of Jesus. And just like that, that's how sometimes like almost every time we have a new person or there's always some kind of breakthrough that we've already prayed over before, right? Because we believe in the power of prayer. It is powerful. And we believe in praying through the service. And we believe that as we come together to pray, it doesn't matter if you are shakayaraba or you're just like, Lord Jesus, help us today. Amen. You're going to join us and pray. Amen. We're going to come together. We're going to pray. But before we do that, let's start with offering. Um, if you want to go ahead and put up on the screen ways to give. Uh, we're going to have our buckets here in a second, and we're going to bless your seed. As you sow into our ministry tonight, you're sowing into revival. We are a movement. So a movement doesn't stay in one place, right? We believe in expanding the kingdom of God to the different regions. And so your contribution will help sow into that movement. So as you give, know that you are going to receive in return, right? If you guys don't know, there's a principle called multiplication. And the kingdom of heaven is, um, it operates in multiplication. How many of you know that you can't outgive God? Maybe that's something that some of y'all that are like, ah, I don't think I've heard that before. But you cannot outgive God, right? As you give, more will be given to you. You know, that's what we firmly believe. We believe that God does, he loves a cheerful giver, right? And if your heart posture is, I'm gonna give to you, God, and I'm sowing into your kingdom, more will be multiplied to you. You can go over scriptures and scriptures. You'll see it, it's in the Bible. Jesus talks about that. Amen. So as I bless your seed tonight, I'm blessing you and I'm decreeing that multiplication over your life today. Amen. All right. Everyone lift your hands. We're going to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I just pray right now. We thank you for tonight. We thank you for what you're going to do tonight. We thank you, Jesus, that tonight you will break into this room, Father God, and that you will touch and encounter every single person sitting here tonight, those that are watching live as well. We pray, Father God, that as your people sow in tonight, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you will go into every areas of their life. You would visit every single area of the lives of everybody, Lord, that will be giving tonight, Lord. And I pray that you would begin to multiply. You would begin to multiply in the name of Jesus. Areas of dry bones in Jesus' name. We prophesy you to come to life tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will multiply their seed. Multiply them, Lord, spiritually, physically, emotionally in the name of Jesus. Every area of their life would be covered in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you and we bless their seed, Lord. We bless each and every person. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, for tonight. We are in anticipation and an expectation tonight of what you will do tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, amen. Come on, give me a louder amen. Amen. All right, you can come forward. Hallelujah. While in Job, he came like a storm. In Isaiah, he came like a rushing river. But in Exodus 3.1, it says, Now Moses was tending to the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire 
from within a bush, Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. Hmm. Show up tonight like a burning bush, Lord. Show up like a burning bush. Show up like a burning bush. Show up tonight, Lord. Show up like a burning bush. Show up like a burning bush. Even though all oh, in flames, it did not consume. Oh, show up like a burning bush. Show up like a burning bush. That even though all oh, in flames, it did not consume. Show up like a burning bush No, show up like a burning bush That even though all oh, in flames It did not consume Show up like a burning bush No, show up like a burning bush That even though all oh, in flames It did not consume Sing it with us tonight Sing it Show up like a burning bush That even though all in flames It did not consume Show up like a burning bush Lord, show up like a burning bush That even though all in flames It did not consume One more time Show up like a burning bush That is our plea Show up like a burning bush That even though all it did not consume Show up like a burning bush Lord, show up like a burning bush That even though all in flames It did not consume Fresh fire, 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 fresh fire Fresh fire, 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 pray, fresh fire, 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 Lord, show up tonight, my God, the same way that Moses said. Show me your glory And you showed him your glory And the mountain Oh, there was lightning and thundering And the people were afraid of your glory But tonight you have a people That are not afraid So show us your glory Won't you show me your glory Show me your glory Lord. Show me your glory Show us your glory Oh, que deba 
of you. I'm excited for those that are going to get breakthrough tonight. I'm excited to see you guys get delivered. I'm excited to see you get healed. I'm excited to see you encounter God for the first time. That's my delight for you. And I know and I believe that it's going to be your portion for each of you. In Jesus' name, if you believe it, shout hallelujah and give the Lord a loud amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. You can, um, we would like you to fix your eyes forward at this time. We have a recap video we want to show you guys from last Saturday. So those who are new, you get to prepare yourselves for what today is going to look like. Amen? Amen. Previously at the Glory Revival. During prayer before revivalist Nelson preached, a group of high school seniors approached the front, praying for a friend, Caleb. Revivalist Nelson notices these five young men and ministers to Caleb and later says to the group of young men that they will set their school on fire and he would impart into them before the service ended. And the young man Caleb gives his life to Christ and gives up his evil eye necklace. After this, Revivalist Nelson asked the room if anyone needed healing. After many hands went up, the room went into prayer and many were healed, including a man whose neck had a knot A woman who came in with a boot on her foot and was healed. A lady who had back pain, COPD, and issues with her sight. And a man who testified that while revivalist Nelson prayed for the woman's eyes, he placed his hand on his eyes to receive the healing too. And he was able to read from distances he wasn't able to before. For me. Then, Revivalist Nelson gives a word about becoming a carrier of light and glory as a son of God. Listen to this. In Romans 8, verse 18, it says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Hallelujah. Say, there's glory to be revealed in us. It says, For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. That is what's occurring on the earth right now. What you are seeing on the earth is the groaning of the earth with birth pangs. So the Bible is telling us, Jesus said, that this is just the birth pangs. So the question is, is what is it about to give birth to? For the earnest expectation of the creation is eagerly waiting for the revealing of who? The sons of God. It says what? Sons of God. Does it say the son of God? It says they're waiting for the what? Revealing of the sons. Who are these sons? There's the sons of obedience and the sons of disobedience. Each one has a spirit working in them. The question I have for you tonight is which spirit is working in you? Because the spirit which works in you determines your father. So my question for you tonight is who's your daddy? Revivalist Nelson then made an altar call for anyone who wanted to become a son of God and a child of the light. And many gave their life to Christ. During 
baptisms, many deliverances, healings, and impartations occurred, including the young men all getting baptized in the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues. Don't doubt it. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Now, what are you believing for God to do in your life? Let's rise to our feet and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. To our feet. I want someone to say, There is glory. There's glory. Come on, say it like you believe it. There's glory, glory. to be revealed in us tonight. I want you to lift your hands right now. And I want you to say that say, there's glory to be revealed in us. There's glory to be revealed. Hallelujah. For the word of God tells us that the earth is groaning. The earth is groaning for the sons of God, for the manifest sons of God to be revealed. In the name of Jesus, I want you to begin to say, Lord, let your presence be manifested within me tonight. Let your groanings, let your groanings be manifested within me tonight. I want you to begin to pray in the spirit like you mean it. I want you to begin to cry out to God and say, Lord, if you don't know what to pray, if you don't know what to say, I want you to continue to say, Lord, let your groanings, let your glory, let your groaning be revealed in me tonight. Let it manifest within me tonight. Because there is a groaning, there is a groaning, there is a groaning that needs to happen. There is a groaning that you must have, that one must have within themselves. There is a stirring that needs to happen within us tonight. To be able to groan, so that we may know and we may groan the way the Spirit groans, the way He desires for all His presence, for the sons to be revealed, and for His glory to be carried through the world. In the name of Jesus, manifest your presence tonight, Lord, we pray. Come on, I want you to stir it. I want you to stir it. I want you to build yourselves right now in the most holy faith. I want you to groan in the mighty name of Jesus. May the groaning of the Lord be upon every person in this room. May the groaning of the Lord be upon every person in this room, Lord, that we would carry. I want your eyes to be closed right now. I don't want you looking at me. I don't want you looking around just for five minutes of your time. If you could focus your attention right now and focus on the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many of you came tonight to experience the presence of God? How many of you are, are tired of experiencing God? Don't respond to that. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Sometimes when you steward the presence, one of the dangers that happens is you get too used to the presence. You get very casual with the presence. But the presence of God is holy. Say it's holy. And they were singing earlier, we enter in by the blood. It was very expensive for you to be in the presence of God tonight. It was very costly for you to even have the privilege tonight to worship. So remember the blood. <laughs> remember the price. Remember all that he has done and continues to do. Remember the privilege that even now some of you as I said that you felt something. That feeling of his presence costed the Son of God. Say hallelujah. There is more to be had in the glory but God only releases according to the measure of your faith. 
God only releases according to the measure of your surrender. God is not withholding himself tonight. You're the one withholding from him. And tonight the Lord is saying, what will you let go of tonight? What will you empty at the altar tonight? What will you sacrifice so that his fire could come tonight? Hear my words, hear my words, hear my words. I'm asking you a genuine question. Do you have an answer for that right now? I want you to be serious with God for a moment. Before we even get into the preaching, <laughs> I want you to be serious with God and say, and, and ask right now, this is the question from heaven. What are you bringing into his presence to lay at the altar as a sacrifice? What is it in your life that you are still holding on to and withholding from heaven? Withholding from God. Come on. What are you willing to give tonight to the Lord? What area of your life have you not given to the Lord tonight? That thing that makes you uncomfortable thinking of letting it go. Even right now, some of you are feeling that war in your soul. Your flesh does not want to give up. Please, the presence of God is holy. He gave up everything so that he could have all of you, not some of you. Hey, come on. Some of you, I'm going to tell you straight up in the presence. Some of you, it's an ungodly boyfriend and girlfriend relationship and you don't want to let go. Some of you, it's an addiction that you actually have gotten comfortable in. The Lord is saying tonight, let it go. Some of you, it's unforgiveness. I'm telling you now, let it go. So you don't leave this place the same way you came. For some of you, I just felt this in my spirit. It's your phone, period. Just your phone, period. The Lord is saying your phone has pulled you away. It's literally taken you from the things of God. It's taking all of your time. It's even taking you from a work that the Lord's been calling you to do. <laughs> Come on. Distractions are pulling. But right now, let's say this to the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, all my life, all I am, I lay it down. I lay it down. Fully surrendered. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We will wait on you. As you've waited on me, Lord, you gave it all to have me. So I give it all back to you, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Withholding nothing from myself. Come on, the Lord's encountering you now. I don't hold anything of my own. 
Ekarabashaya. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'm going to do this for a moment because I don't like to preach until I know the glory has rested on us. But so many people in the room tonight are very half hearted. And the Lord is dealing with you even as I'm speaking. I want those who really want to surrender all I'm gonna open the altar one more time tonight before I preach I want you to come to this altar if you have something that you want to lay down to the Lord before we even get into the message tonight so I want to open the altar do you have something you want to give to the Lord come to this altar come she live ramanana see live see Listen, there's no fire without a sacrifice. So we cry out for fresh fire, but there is no fire without a sacrifice. I want you to be very serious and sincere with God. You came to the Dome of Encounters. You didn't come to meet Nelson. You didn't come to hear a preacher. You came to encounter God tonight. And this place is an open door to heaven. It is an open portal. And I want you to encounter God tonight. In Jesus' name. telling you heaven's open right now there it is heaven's open right now there it is now you're talking to him you're not just listening and hearing about him I want you talking to him tonight hey. talk about you like you're not in the room I want to speak right at you I want to speak right to you I don't want to talk about you like you're not in the room I want to look right at you I want to speak right to you I don't want to talk about you like you're not in the room. I want to look right at you. I want to speak right to you. I don't want to talk about you like you're not in the room. I want to look right at you. Want to speak right to you? Won't relent until you have it all. My heart is yours. You won't relent until you have it all. My heart. Won't relent until you have it all. My heart is yours. You won't relent until you have it. 
Hero, my heart is yours. Yes, yes. Hey, come on, the Lord is here. Give him everything, give him everything, give him everything. You want those who worship in spirit and in truth. Hey, You want those who worship in spirit and in truth. Not half-hearted, you want all of it. Yeah, 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 listen. Not half-hearted, you want all of it, Lord. Not half-hearted, you want all of it. Come on. Hey. You won't relent until you have it all my heart is yours you won't relent until you have it all my heart is yours you won't relent until you have it all my heart is yours say hallelujah yeah 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 how many of you genuinely gave that to the lord come on let me hear your voices let me hear your voices yeah 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 hey Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all we want, Lord, is your presence. Sing that. Tell him that sincerely. I want to see 
Je le vrama ma to dwell. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> In his presence, there's fullness of joy. In his right hand, Pleasures, pleasures forevermore. Ekarabashariene. Shakarababa shekele vramanana. Wanna speak right to you. I don't wanna talk about you. Like you're not in the room I wanna look right at you I wanna speak right to you Talk about you Like you're not in the room I wanna look right at you I wanna speak right to you I don't wanna talk about you like you're not in the room I want to look right at you I want to speak right to you I don't want to talk about you Like you're not in the room I want to look right at you I want to speak right to you I don't want to talk about like you're not in the room I want to look right at you I want to speak right to you I don't want to talk about you Like you're not in the room I want to look right at you I want to speak right to you I don't want to talk about you yeah, yeah. Like you're not in the room I want to look right at you want to speak right to you I don't want to talk about you Like you're not in the room I want to look right at you I want to speak right to you Come on Like you're not in the room where are the hungry ones in the room? I want to speak right to you. I don't want to talk about you like you're not in the room. I want to look right at you. I want to speak right to you. I don't want to talk about you like you're not in the room. I want to look right at you. I want to speak right to you I want to look right at you I want to speak right to you I want to look right at you I want to speak right to you I want to look right Hey! I want to speak right Come on! I want to look right Woo! I want to speak right to you I want to look right at you I want to speak right to you Come on, get on your feet in the glory Hey, you won't relent, Lord Until you have it all, Lord I don't want to talk about you 
you're not in this room I want to look right at want to speak right to you I don't want to talk about you like you're not in this room I want to look right I want to speak right to you Woo! Have you Begin to lift your voice to the Lord like you really love Him. Evra manasi levre nesheka. Evra mananasi. Ah! Levra mananana. All soul, bless the Lord. All body, bless the Lord. All spirit, bless the Lord. I will love the Lord my God with all my heart, all my mind, all my body, all my might, all my strength. Hey! So show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. So show me your glory. Hey, show me your glory. Show me your glory. So show me your glory. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. So show me your glory. Demuestra tu gloria. Show me your glory. I don't want to talk about you like you're not in the room. I want to look right at you. want to speak right to you. I don't want to talk about you like you're not in this room. I want to look right at you, want to speak right to you. I want to look right at you, want to speak right to you. I want to look right at you, I want to speak right to you. So show me your glory. Show me your glory, 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 show me your glory. Show me your glory, show me your glory, show me your glory, show me your glory, show me your glory. your glory Lord show us your glory Lord show us your glory Lord show us your glory Reba Karib Rene Nene Nena Namasia Nene Nea Hey Levra Mama Masha Kari Nene Nene Evra Mama Mandele Rebre Nene Nene Oh show me show me your glory Lord hey Come on, come on. The anointing is beginning to stir in this atmosphere. The glory is beginning to stir in this atmosphere. The hungry ones are beginning to stir in this atmosphere. Lord, we don't just want emotions. We want your glory. We don't just want the flesh. We want your glory. We don't just want another service. We want the glory. We don't just want to have good music. We want the glory. Hey. I'm tired of church, Lord. I just want to see your glory. I want the glory, the glory, the glory. Give me the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory. Give me your glory, your glory, your glory, your glory. Give me your glory, your glory, your glory, your glory. Give me your glory. Your glory, your glory. 
glory, your glory, give me your your glory, your glory, your glory, give me your glory, your glory, your glory, your glory, give me your glory, Lord. The glory, the glory, the glory. Shake it, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Your glory, your glory, your glory. Worship team, I need y'all on stage, please. Find your mic, come to the stage. I'm gonna, we're gonna push a little further. They're gonna go somewhere in the glory. And then I'll preach after that. Hey. I don't wanna see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna see you face to face. Come on, man. I want to see you face to face I don't want church Listen I don't want another service I don't want just good music, Lord I want to see your glory I want to see you face to face I want to see that pillar of fire I want to see what Moses saw I don't just want to hear good stories I want to see that glory The way you came on that mountain I want you to come in this room The same way you did Come and do it again I said I want to see your glory I don't just want to hear good stories I'm tired of church, oh God Man, I need to see you face to face I just want to see the glory round Hey, so show me your glory Show me your glory Show me your glory Come on, that needs to be real Show me your glory Show me your glory Hey, show me your glory Show me your glory Ah, show me your glory Show me your glory hunger and thirst come on oh some of you are almost there oh oh 
Oh Lord, let our spirit groan. Let it groan for the more, God. We want to see. Oh, we want to see. Face to face. I want to see. Mouth to mouth. I want to speak. Show me. Show me. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an unquenchable hunger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like something needs to happen. Marina ma celebremeni andarabakaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna make a pool of hungry people only. I want a pool of only the hungry ones. Come right here to this center. I want the center only the really, really, really hungry, desperate believers that came tonight. All the ones that are not hungry, you can stay on the outside. I want the only the hungries, yes, yes. Watch the little ones in this pool. Hey. Oh, fire, fire. Fire comes on a sacrifice. Fire comes to the hungry. Fire comes to the desperate. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is, there it is. You see what happens when hungry people wake up? Fire.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, <laughs> lift your hand one time. Say, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's a wind now. We had fire, but now there's a wind. Blow, blow mighty breath of God, blow, hey. blow mighty breath of God, move upon this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just receive the wind from heaven now.
upon this place. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow, blow, blow. Mighty breath of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your wind blow hey. in this place. The winds of change, the winds of refreshing. I'm blowing, says the Lord, my breath of life. It is a wind of change. A whirlwind with signs of change. The seasons change, 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 change. Seasons change. Watch me blow the winds of change. There's a wind, there's a wind, there's a wind, there's a wind. It's the wind of change. Livana shike Livana Maya. Watch me blow the winds of change. Remana na na na. Watch me blow the winds, the winds, the winds of change. Watch me blow change. Hey, the wind says change. The wind brings change. The wind speaks change. The seasons change. Hey, change. <laughs> change, 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 change. I'm bringing change. Change, 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 change. I'm blowing change, change, change. Watch me change. Change, change, change. I'm bringing change, change, change. I'm bringing change, change, change. I'm blowing change, 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 change. Change, change, change. the wind says change. I'm blowing change. The wind says change. The seasons change. Finances change. Family change. My spirit change. My body change. The wind says change. Change, 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 change
How many of you believe something shifted? How many of you know it takes one moment under an open heaven for everything to change? I'm going to ask a question real quick. How many of you felt when the atmosphere bursted open? You guys felt the shift? That is evidence to you it's opened. And the Bible speaks of an open heaven where angels are ascending and descending. What you have declared under an open heaven, whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth is loosed in the heavens. Let me help you. Sometimes you don't need a sermon. You need an encounter. When you enter the realm, it's time to put to practice what you've already learned. Amen. Watch me change. Watch him change it. He's changing. Listen, I heard the Lord say this. I'm changing it with you. I'm changing it through you. You're the curse breaker. I'm changing it through you. I'm changing it through you. I'm breaking it through you. You're the curse breaker. You're the chain breaker. You're the world changer. You're the world changer. You're the world shaker. Said you're the world shaker. Said you're the world changer. Say I'm a world changer. Say I'm a world shaker. Say I'm a chain breaker. Say I'm a chain breaker. Say I'm a chain breaker. Come on, say say I'm a world changer. Say I'm a world changer. Say I'm a world changer. Say I'm a chain break. I'm a chain break. I'm a world changer. I'm a world changer. I'm a chain breaker. I'm a chain breaker. I'm a devil shamer. I'm a devil shaver. Say he's under my feet. Under my feet. Say he's under my feet. Say he's under my feet. Say under my feet. 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 Under my feet, under my feet, under my feet, under under my feet. Say he's under my feet, 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 under my feet. Under my feet, 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 under my feet. Under my feet, 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 under 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 my feet, under my feet, under my feet, under my feet, under my feet. Under my feet, under, 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 under my feet, under my feet, 
Say he's under my feet. Say he's under my feet. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. Say the devil messed up. The devil messed up. I see the Holy Ghost, I see the Holy Ghost, I see the Holy Ghost, I 
in that glory right there yeah you can have the room this is all for you you can have the room <laughs> we don't have a plan your presence is the plan that's all we want jesus <laughs> that's all we want jesus we don't have a plan <laughs> your presence is the plan do what you want jesus do what you do jesus come in the room jesus Woo! Hey. You can have this room, Lord. Do what it is you do, Lord. You're the healer, the deliverer. Hey, we don't have a plan. You are the plan. <laughs> ah, just lift your hands to the Lord. Say, Lord, that's my plan. Your presence in my life. Yes, Lord. You can have the room. Just receive that presence right there. There's fullness of joy, pleasures forevermore, pleasures
can take a breath <laughs> You don't have to fight anymore mm. I'll take care of the rest <laughs> I'll take care of the rest Yeah You'll take care of the rest in that atmosphere. You don't have to strive. It's simple. <laughs> Joy. Joy. unspeakable and full of glory. You're allowed to laugh in his presence. Joy unspeakable. Joy, it's joy when you win a battle, you just rejoice. <laughs> Woo! When you win a battle, you just rejoice. We've already won. On the, on the wall, on the screen, you could put Second Chronicles 20. We're going to stay in this place. Don't stop. Don't get religious. Woo. There's freedom in his presence. The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. You can have the room. Don't be in your flesh, y'all. Just focus. So, let people laugh in the presence. It's okay, it's legal. <laughs> Put Second Chronicles 20, 22. Actually, verse 17 first. You will not need to fight in this battle. 
position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. Now go to verse 22. Now when they began, say when they began, say when we began to sing and to praise, the Lord set an ambush against our enemies. <laughs> say when we began to sing and to praise, the Lord set an ambush against our enemies. Give the Lord a shout of praise. If you were actually excited, hallelujah, you would just be smiling ear to ear. I thank you so much. I'm going to tell you what happened. Some of you have been delivered in your mind tonight from torment. You didn't have to scream and puke. You are delivered in Jesus' name. Some of you, the fight for your family, change. It takes one moment in the presence. Everything changes. Everything changes. Say hallelujah. Everything changes. <laughs> How does it go? I'll never be the same. With just one look. Everything changes. I'll captivate. I'll never be the same. With just one look, everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same. With just one look, everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same. With just one look. Everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same with just one look. Everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same with just one look. Everything changes. <laughs> I'm captivated I'll never be the same With just one look Everything changes I'm captivated I'll never be the same With just one look With just one look one look Lord anybody look at the Lord tonight <laughs> anybody look at the Lord tonight some of you you want to see with your natural eye it's a look of the heart you understand that because throughout the day you could be at your desk but the look of your heart is elsewhere 
Sometimes it's at home. Sometimes it's on your spouse. Sometimes it's on football. Hello. But if you just look at him, if the gaze of your soul becomes the Lord, the attention of your heart becomes him. With just one look, everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same with just one look. Everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same with just one look. Everything changes. I'm captivated. this exists to look at him that's all we want is you I just want to look at you I just want to look at you oh God I just want to look at you 
just want to look at you. That's all I want. Just want to look at you. That's the, that's the theme tonight. We just want to look at you. So beautiful, Jesus. You're so beautiful, Jesus. That's what he wants. That's what he longs for. Like in the
know some of you may not understand why we worship the way we worship. We've been worshiping for three hours. The question is, what else are we supposed to do? Think about it. What else are we supposed to do in the house of God? My house shall be a house of prayer, a house of worship for all nations. Not a house of preaching. Praise God for the word of God. We value the word. Wor preaching is worship. But how many of you know the angels are around the throne singing? Say singing. Holy, holy, holy. Forever and ever. There's a place in your relationship with God where all you can do is worship Him. There's a place in prayer, in the secret place, when you have no request. I don't know if you're there yet, but I don't know about you. When I go into the prayer closet, and I meet with him. Listen, when he shows up, I don't have a lot to say. I don't got a lot to ask for. Because I know this. When he shows up, he's all I asked for. He's all I ever wanted. <laughs> What's the plan? His presence is the plan. <laughs> And if you're not there yet, beloved, you'll get there. You'll get there. There's a lot to fall in love with when you meet Jesus. You know, you're most effective when you just host his presence. The most safe place to be is in his presence. I've been everywhere else. I've been in the clubs. I've been drunk. I've been in bed with the wrong people. I've been in many places dark. And I tried what the world offered me on a plate. And I thought it was good for a time. I went to the well to drink. And I thought it quenched my thirst for a time. But when I went to the well, when I was in my filth, in my sin, drinking from the world, from the broken cisterns, the Bible calls it. When I went for a drink of the world, a man met me. <laughs> the God man met me. Because see, I had a broken heart. Mom and dad split up when I was a kid. Grew up fatherless. With a single mama. With three sisters. It was all women in the home. This young man didn't know what it was to be a man. Amen. So I was just trying to find myself like some of you in the room. You stuck around this long because you're still trying to find yourself. And you know that there's something here that you don't have yet. But you want to have. And I'm here to tell you, you can keep drinking from the world and you know that it doesn't satisfy your, the longing of your soul. But Jesus met the woman at the well and said, Woman, brother, if you knew who it was asking you for a drink, you would have asked him for a drink. If you knew what Jesus had to offer, if you knew who he was, say, if I knew, who he was I would say 
give me a drink. <laughs> no, you give me a drink. <laughs> I could try and dig for something to give to you, Lord. But I know that if I get you, I don't need anything else. If I drink from you, I don't need to go anywhere else. If I run to you, I don't need to run anywhere else. You're all I long for. You're all I need. Is anybody else in this place found that he's all you need? So here's what I want to do. If you're in this room tonight and you came empty, you came empty, you came longing for something, you came wanting to know about Jesus. You just met a room of people who sang for three hours because they, because they, because they, because they, Ghost bar that when you drink of it you will be filled and overflow with no hangover in the morning hallelujah just a glow over <laughs> so listen if you're here tonight and you want to give your life to Jesus Christ or you want to come back to the Lord and find that place of enjoyment again and drink from him I want you to raise your hand if you're here come on come on hallelujah come on praise the Lord praise the Lord amen 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 let's let's come come close to the altar those of you who want to come back to the Lord and drink from him I want everybody else you could stay at the altar unless your legs hurt hallelujah here's what I want to do come closer I want everybody to stand for a moment where are we gonna wrap this up tonight stand up the Holy Spirit still wants to do something you guys okay with just a Holy Spirit service tonight
There's healing in the atmosphere, so if you need a healing, this is your chance to just pull on the presence. Do you need healing in your body? Yeah, physically. Come. Touch Holy Spirit right there. Right there. Touch Holy Spirit with your presence right there. Transformation, transformation. What do you need? Knee pain. Is it there right now? Okay, has it been there tonight at all? Okay, when was it there? Okay, so you could feel it when you were jumping. Okay. So how could you know if it's still there? It's still there. No, no pain. Is it gone? Yeah. Yeah? How bad was it before? It wasn't real bad, but it was, I could feel it. I could feel the pain. But it's not there at all. At all, not there. Yeah, you didn't even notice. <laughs> no, I didn't know. Till now, amen. And the sinuses? It's gone, yeah. When did it go away? During praise and worship, during worship. 
that you felt your sinus is clear? Clear. Ah, praise the Lord. <laughs> Who did you come with? Come. I want them to come. Really? Okay, come on. Bring them. Come, mama. Huh? Come, mama. Somebody give Jesus praise. Come, gentlemen. Come. So what happened to your foot, brother? Which one is it? You? Yeah. Yeah. So you, you were playing football? How do you shoot your foot playing football? It's a long story? <laughs> is there pain there? Like right now? Mm -hmm. How bad? Uh, about a six, five and a half. Like out of ten? Yeah. Where you at with Jesus? Uh, pretty close. You walk with the Lord? For sure? For sure. For sure. How about you? Uh, I'm trying to have a better relationship. Cool, man. What made you come today? Mama or not a personal choice? Yeah? Cool. Cool, man. So you, do, do you want to know Jesus more? Come on, man. All right, check it out. That's your brother? Friend? Check it out. Which foot is it? Right? This one? What if Jesus healed your friend through you? Would that be wild? Would that change something for you? What would it change? Why? Because if I see it change my friend, they can change me. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You been praying for him or what? Ah, oh, man. You, homie ain't looking out for you. I don't know if he's a friend anymore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm so with you. All right. Don't worry. Jesus has been pulling on this one. Wait, let me see your, um, your right foot. I want you to put it on top of his foot. Don't step. Just hover, put it right there. Boom. Just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now say this. Say, Lord. Lord. If you can change him. If you can change him. I know you can change me. I know you can change me. Holy Spirit, flow through me. Six and a half to what? Uh, four, three and a half. What could you not do before? Like what would normally hurt a lot? Uh -huh. All right, go ahead. Watch. A lot more looser. A lot looser. Yes, sir. All right, watch this. Put your foot on him one more time. Jesus. Jesus. You're the real deal. Finish what you started. Because you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Do what you do. And heal my friend. Friend? Foot? Obey the word of the Lord. And be healed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Check it out now. Check it out, check it out. Come on, walk it out. Walk it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Hop on it. Do it, do it. Hey, a little better, a little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs>
Come on, man. How does that feel? Way better, way better. Way better. From one to ten, where's it at now? Oh, about a two. About a two. Uh, what you thinking about that right now? You work miracles. Come on. Yeah. Do some uh, do some calf raises right there. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Could you do that like that without pain? Uh, no, nah, not without pain. No. And how's that feel right now? I don't feel it. You don't feel what? No pain. Like it went from two to zero just now? Yep. From from rising up to no pain to rising up with pain to no pain. So no pain right now. Yeah, do, now do this. So it's still a two? Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Oh, it's gonna happen right now though. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of faith I got. I've seen so many miracles, bro. This light work, you know what I'm saying? All right, come, bring your foot. Put your foot right there one more time. And say, all right, Jesus. All right, Jesus. It's dope. All the way. All the way. In Jesus' name. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do it all. Right now. Amen. Check that out again. Twist. good now. For sure, for sure? So, for sure. You know you can't lie in church, right? No, I can't lie. We good. I might go play basketball. Yeah, come on. Hey. <laughs> come on. All right. So Jesus did it. He could do it for you. Listen, there's something that happened to me in 2016. I had somebody come and pray for me once at church. Weird lady. She came and said, can I pray for you? I said, okay, sure. For five minutes straight, she just looked at me and said, God knows you. 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 By the 10th time, I was like, all right, chick. Like, I get the point. God knows you. 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 Amen. After a while, I fell on the floor just to see if she would stop. <laughs> you know what she did? She came down with me. <laughs> God knows you. <laughs> I said, what is wrong with her? She said, I can't say anything different. God just is telling me to tell you he knows you. I went home that day. And I, like after she was done, after five minutes, I was like, what is wrong with her? Because it wasn't clicking. I went home. And then as soon as I literally walked in my house, it started replaying. God knows you. God knows you. God knows you. I was like, man, what, is, what are you trying to say to me? I went home into my room. I went into my room. I shut the door. And I got on my knees. And I said, God, what does it mean that you know me? And the presence of God just came into the room like you wouldn't even imagine. It's literally like he walked in. And he came in and he said to me, I'm the father you've always wanted but never had. <laughs> and bro, I just broke. And he said, you remember when you was little and you used to dream big things that you would do with your dad? How you would start a business, how you would do that, how you do this. I said, yeah, Lord, I remember that. He said, son, you can do it with me now. And I'm here about almost eight years later. And here we are. <laughs> Millions of people, hundreds of people healed, thousands of people healed, changed. I'm here to tell you, the same way God said that to me, what he's saying to you today you hear what i'm saying he's the father you always wanted and never had and those dreams you've always had since you was a kid you don't gotta let those things die bro you're gonna be a world changer for real you hear me and you're gonna live a long life you hear what i'm saying you ain't gonna die early you ain't gonna die young you're gonna live a long life and you're gonna do everything god created and destined you to do 
Amen. Come on, man. Love you, man. All right. I know you did. He's your father. He loves you. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Come on. Somebody give Jesus praise. Come on. Say the father is in the house. He is a father to the fatherless. Woman of God, what do you need from the Lord? Okay. You need a home. Is this your daughter? Are you guys currently don't have a place? Where are you? Hmm. Awesome. What brought you here? All right. Breakthrough. How long have you been here? Okay. Okay. All right. Lift the hands to the Lord. Let's make it happen. Father, you already blew the wind of change. And I thank you that the doors have opened. Let provision enter her hands. Let blessing come into her hands. Jesus, mighty name. There it is. Bless them, Holy Spirit. Open the doors. There it is. Swing wide. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let your presence overwhelm her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let your love overwhelm her. Hey, you're a father to the fatherless. Come and make your home in her, Lord. Show her the love of a father that she's longing for, Lord. There it is. There it is. Hey, there it is. For your family, for your home, for your finances, change. It is done in Jesus' name. It will open, mama. You hear me? A job will open, the provision will flow, and the right place to go is going to fall in line. In obedience, you start moving towards it, and God will align everything and open the doors. Amen? Bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Give the Lord praise. How are you doing, little one? Come on. Jesus loves you. I just needed to make sure you knew that. Amen. Faith. Great is your faith. Great is your faith. Everything changes. You hear me? Faith. Everything you cried out for tonight, the Lord says, I've heard you. And I'll do it. I'll do it. Come on. Hallelujah. Say amen. All right. Are you local? Do you live locally? Okay, is that your mama? What's your name? Huh? Araceli. Araceli? What do you need from the Lord? Huh? Yeah. Health. Where is, where do you have problems? Mm -hmm. Sinuses, everything, okay. Okay, take five steps forward, one. Take five steps forward. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Parate ahí. <laughs> there was an angel right there. Uh, so I said, just, just walk up to the angel. It's dope, right? There it is. Her sinuses are opening right now. 
abren, abren en el nombre de Jesús ahí mismo fuego de Dios en su garganta fire of God in her throat, in her chest how's that? did your sinus is clear? Hallelujah, give the Lord praise. Amen. Mm. Here's what I want to do. I want you to lift your hands. I'm going to dismiss you guys. But I'm going to release you with an assignment. Say assignment. Freely you receive from his presence, freely go and give it tonight, amen? I don't know if you're going home or if you're going to eat. Wherever you go, bring the glory to your homes, amen? Today the teaching, today the teaching was the demonstration. I was going to teach you on how to steward the presence of God. But I think we learned tonight, didn't we? Notice how, and I'm going to just teach you what happened in the room. The atmosphere was a certain way because the posture was a certain way. The hunger level was a certain way. The worship was a certain way. Half-hearted, not all in. You hear what I'm saying? Some of you were, some of you weren't. Those of you who weren't, you know who you are. But what happened is we had to come today and stop holding back on God. The moment everybody in the room took that seriously, laid it at the altar, the fire of God only comes when there's a sacrifice, when there's an offering. The Bible says present yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Meaning given all the way to God. Am I making sense? When you did that, the Lord was pleased and His presence came because now there was a corporate invitation and a corporate surrender. Do this in the secret place every day. Surrender and bring yourself as an offering. And even in your home, Bring your family as an offering and watch the presence of God come into your homes, come into your secret place. Are you hearing me? What happened tonight is how you should be in the prayer closet. Notice we were not busy with our personal prayer requests. We started with giving ourselves to the Lord and desiring one thing Lord have all of me and give me all of you when I go to pray that's all I'm doing my secret place prayer is I want to know you I surrender to you and I wait on the Lord say wait you wait on the Lord because if you call a friend to come over you expect them to show up right if you go into the prayer closet and dial heaven's hotline and say, Father, I want to dwell with you. I want to abide with you. Come on over. We want to hang out and chill. How many of you know the Lord is like, I'm on my way? So if you invite him, you ought to what? Wait for him. You ought to wait for him and expect him. Say expect. It says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. It says, uh, what does it say? It says, but God, if whoever comes to God must first believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder, say rewarder.
what I'm saying? Now faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. But once you've heard and your faith, <laughs> it's time for an encounter. And the goal of a minister is to bring you to him, not to himself. You hear what I'm saying? So when I knew the room wasn't there yet, I said, hold up. The, we need to bring you guys to him first. Amen? We want him. Say, I want him. Now, when you, all you want is him, look how easy healings are. Because the healer shows up. So worry not about what you're going to wear. Worry not about what you're going to eat. Worry not about what you're going to dwell. Worry not about tomorrow, for tomorrow has his own troubles. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. All those other things shall be added unto you. Worry yourself about one thing. I have to have my time with him. If there's anything you should be stressing about, is pulling away to the secret place. There's anything you should be worried about is leaving. To, okay, y'all, this was good. I gotta go and dwell in the presence of God. Say, dwell. Your dwelling is His presence. Say, Amen say dwell when you dwell somewhere what do you do you live there my lovely sister said I need a dwelling place hallelujah dwell in the presence of God and God will take care of the house you hear what I'm saying <laughs> say Lord my house is your presence and the house shall be added unto you to dwell is to live there to visit is different to be a visitor is different than a dweller many people visit God but don't dwell with him say tonight I'm not a visitor in the presence of God I shall be a dweller in the presence am I making sense to anybody I don't know about you but once I've tasted and seen from the Lord and been in his presence I don't know how to function outside of his presence. You see, I could have just like ignored the atmosphere and preached. I don't got time for that. I'm, I'm, I didn't start the hub to just preach. You get what I'm saying? I didn't start this thing to be just another preaching church and everybody's motivated and goes home. If God is not here, I don't want to preach. Now, God is always with me and in me. But he shows up in a corporate atmosphere by the demand. You see what I'm saying? I could host the Lord in my secret place. But when I come here, came here, you might as well come with hunger. You might as well come ready to give it all. But I get it. Sometimes you're so weighed down by the flesh, by the devil in the world, that you need a little bit of help. But did we get there tonight? We got in the presence tonight. And if it takes you three hours, four hours to get in the presence of God, is it worth it? Is it worth it? No place I'd rather be. You see what I'm saying? Listen, if it takes four hours, five hours, six hours of me waiting on the Lord for, for me to have one minute with Him, how many of you know everything changes in one minute? One minute with God, everything will change. So this is the invitation to you. What you saw done here tonight, not as a formula, but as a lesson a principle of seeking the Lord sincerely with all you have, requiring nothing from his hand, but simply to look at him, to speak right to him. 
Beloved, I guarantee you the presence of God in your secret place will be easier when you don't have to think about all the things you need to do and all the things you want and all the things that are... When you say, wait a minute, I'm not coming to a small God or a therapist. I'm coming to the God of all creation. Why will I waste, listen, my time? And I'm not telling you that this is always a waste of time. Just hear what I'm saying. Don't hear what I'm not saying. Complaining about my issues or worse beating myself up in shame condemning myself when I come to him when you do that that self-condemnation in the prayer closet you're telling him this your sacrifice wasn't enough so now I need to shame myself more to hopefully show you remorse show you that I that, that that you know I'm sorry beloved is his blood enough did he die for your sins did he die for your sins for you to come in his presence like this to come into his presence full of shame no he removes the shame beloved so you can come with it and say Lord this is what I've done thank you for your blood that washes me and cleanses me of all unrighteousness. And now that that sin is wiped away, you can focus on Him. Because you enter in by the blood. And the blood is the life of God. The life of Jesus. And that life of Jesus is your righteousness. And because you are righteous, you can approach the throne of grace boldly. Because the righteous are what? bold as lions so you can come like the little cubs of lions that you are and come right into daddy's lap and hang out with him am i making sense all right lift your hands to the lord let me release you father release them tonight in the glory release them tonight with your power release them tonight with your presence thank you for the winds of change say thank you for the winds of change say everything changes from this day forward so father let it blow let it blow in Jesus name I release them in your glory I declare that they shall live and not die that your angels go before them and around them an army of angel encamp those who fear your name the blood of Jesus is enough the blood of Jesus is enough the blood is enough the blood is enough the blood is enough the blood is enough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father as they go release them with freedom release them with the forgiveness of their sin release them with your glory and your presence and use them say Holy Spirit use me for your glory as your vessel freely I received I drank from you freely I give away this glory and presence in Jesus name give the Lord a mighty shout of praise and a hallelujah in Jesus name amen all right we thank you guys for coming out tonight just so everybody knows I'm going to be locking the back doors in about 10 minutes so if you parked in the back please make your way that way soon Guys, we thank you for coming out. We need to get out of here in about seven minutes. So if you guys could grab your stuff, please make sure you don't forget anything. We love you guys. We'll see you again next week.
a burning bush Show up like a burning bush Even though it was in flames It did not consume Lord, show up like a burning bush Show up like a burning bush That even though in flames It did not consume Show up like a burning